around to give yourself a tighter hold. Okay. Then, you're going to play around a little with this remaining hair. Um, my, I don't suggest just putting it together. I mean, you could. It could be a fun, actually, that's a kind of a fun bun, like, if you want to be playful. I want mine to look a little bit more uniform. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one small section, about this much, right? And I'm going to kind of twist this piece around. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking in the camera. I'm trying to look in the mirror to make sure I'm doing it right. But I'm going to twist the piece around my hair and kind of create like a... I don't know what it's called. Just twist it around the bottom, basically. And I want it tight because I want it to kind of like just come in and hide maybe the ponytail that I just made or all that other good stuff. Okay. I'm going to take the next piece of hair. About this much. We're going to now kind of make it a little bit looser. A looser bun and just bring it over your hair to the back. Actually kind of spread it out a bit. And bring it over to the back. Now you're going to pin it. Like you're going to tie it. You'll twist it some. Take a bobby pin and pin it in. There's going to be this remaining hair here. You're just going to pull it around and pin it. So basically what I'm doing, there's no real uniform style. You're just playing around with your hair. Or you're taking pieces and trying to just make it look natural and thick. I like mine to look a little bit loose, not too tight. I'm going to take another piece of hair. And if you see any kind of abnormalities like this, this like flying section here, I'm going to take some more hair, maybe a smaller section of hair at this time. About this much. We're going to put it, spread it out some, put it over the hair. You're going to twist it at the bottom of the bun, where the bun meets your natural hair. Take a hairpin and pin it in. So you'll take this remaining hair, kind of loosen it up some, and bring it over. I'm going to take this front part, twist it some, and a good technique is to try and tuck it underneath the bun, anything that you're pinning in. Like, you want to make sure that, like, you're hiding it um, so it just doesn't show through. Let the bun cover it. going to take, so we have this much hair left, right? I'm just going to split it in half. Take a bit more hair. And actually bring it to the top this time, to the middle. I noticed that I've been going, like, to the back a lot, so I'm going to just take it over to the side and make sure that it's spread out some. Twist it, right? Take a hairpin. Pin it. What I'm going to do with this bottom portion is kind of Twist it. See? If you don't follow the little pin tuck technique, your hairpin is going to come right out. So let me repeat my hairpin technique correctly this time. I was being a little lazy before. There we go. 
I'm going to twist the hair at the bottom and just bring it all the way around. This time I'm going to try and make it a little bit tighter. Twist that end portion and pin it. Okay. I'm going to take this last portion and just make sure that nothing looks too crazy. I think um, I'm going to kind of camouflage that bottom portion that I just did by making it a little bit looser. Taking it around my head. And pinning it in. I'm going to take your last portion of hair, this much hair, right? I'm going to put it up, twist. Actually, we're going to put the twist portion underneath and hide, hide it under the bun. Okay, I'm just going to put in one more hairpin just to secure it. Because you know one of my greatest fears is that I'm wearing, like, <laughs> ponytail. God forbid the wind blows the wrong way or somebody, like, knocks by you. Like, your ponytail, bun, whatever thing just, like, flies in the other direction. So I just want to make sure that everything is securely pinned. I think I'm going to take this last portion, kind of like the way it looks like this, maybe pull it some since it doesn't want to come down. Take your last bobby pin, and get it in there. So now you play with the hair a little. You move it around. I like to flatten it some because it's a pretty high, like, it's more high and dramatic for an event or something. But you can use maybe even half of the hair and just make a smaller, like, bun just for a daytime look. So you can vary it a little bit. And um, it's just when you cut it in half, it's half the hair. So you just have to work with it more and play with it a little bit more. So now I'm going to take my hair out see how everything is blending. Um, got some loose ends here. Nothing to worry about. You just tuck it under. And tuck it in. I can't find my bobby pins right now, but I would bobby pin that. Ooh. And you might have some stray hairs that you want to clip if you needed to. So basically, it shouldn't take longer than 10 minutes to create this bun. You can tie a little hair tie around it if you want to go for a fun retro look. Or you can wear it like this to an event. But I think it's just a really fun and simple look, especially when it's hot outside. Um, you can put your hair up like this, and it's just a great fun look to have. And um, enjoy. <laughs> so I hope I've been clear in my tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below and I'll try and answer them as best as possible. Um, and definitely check out or wait for a follow-up video with my hair when it's kinkier, in a kinkier state. But um, I'll put a link for that once I make that video. Um, in addition to that, if in your free time you like to browse the web and look at blogs, I suggest you go and look at my blog, Adventures of a Kinky Curly. Um, and it's adventuresofakinkycurly.com. Uh, it's just a fun way for you to spend your free time. Anyway, if you have questions, make sure to ask. If you like the video, like it. And um, hopefully I will see you guys soon. So, bye.